Hi, my name is Chris Bouguet, and I'm an assistive technology trainer for Loudoun County Public Schools, and I want to tell you about a concept called the least dangerous assumption, which can really empower students. When you don't have enough evidence to make an, a judgment or an assessment about a student's performance or abilities, assume they can do whatever you're asking them to do. Every educator needs to make a decision about technology they need to put in place, and they're not sure if they should put option A in place or option B in place. This can be particularly difficult in the world of disabilities because there might not always be a perfect answer. So teachers can look to this solution using the least dangerous assumption to make a decision about what technology might be best. The least dangerous assumption has three principles. Principle number one is that everyone has different abilities and talents. No two people are exactly alike. Principle number two states that you can't judge a person's whole future success based on one score, like an IQ score. There's way more to a person than just one test score. Principle number three states that people learn best when they feel valued, when they have some sort of meaning to their life. Anyone can use these three principles to make choices about what's the best option for a student, what's going to restrict the student in the least possible way. Since I've learned the concept of the least dangerous assumption, it's really changed my practice, and I have not put limits on students. Students that I work with now, when they leave on the last day, they haven't just met their goals and objectives for a year. They were able to meet their goals and objectives that they came up with, that they want to do, that they wanted to achieve. When you're working with a person with a disability, if you're going to fail, fail because you believe in the person's potential, not because you put some sort of artificial limit on them.